And there are two Learning To Talks the morning, the first of which is Trisha. Good luck. Thank you. Good morning. Okay, good morning to a few of you then, I guess. Um, this morning I'd like to talk to you about the importance of language as technology. Our language matters. The words that we choose to select and describe the places that we work, the people that we are as educators, have a profound effect on the work that we do Monday through Friday. How many of you have ever heard of one of our school years described as a marathon? I know that I have. Um, and perhaps that metaphor works. Both are long, arduous, challenging, rewarding. You need to do a great deal of training. And if you're lucky at some point along the way, you might just get to go to the bathroom. My first marathon was 10 years ago. Um, very conveniently for me right now, I can't remember my final race time. But what I do remember is the sound of the start. Thousands of feet pummeling, drumming the pavement together in unison. Learning to, maybe you'll help me out and just sort of drum your own feet right now for a few seconds so we can enjoy that audible memory. Thanks. That's the sound of collaboration. Step after step after step after step coming from the back, the middle, into the front. Why is it then that often by October, the sound that we hear as educators is a little more like this? I think it's because we need to reshift the way that we think about our school years and change metaphors. It's time for us to let the marathon metaphor run its course. Instead, what I'd propose to you is that we trade that old metaphor in for a new one, the campfire. The campfire metaphor asks us, instead of focusing on nursing injuries and feeling so competitive, worrying about the finish line, instead we're thinking about fostering diversity. We're asking each other to remember that we can be creative in our different contributions to our campus. Who's going to bring the guitar? Who has an incredible story to share? Who's going to start the very first song? And perhaps most importantly, who's bringing the marshmallows? So you ask, OK, how do we get from marathons to marshmallows? Here's how I think we can do it together. Another word that is so resonating often in our workplace is this idea that you have to be a torchbearer. You always have to be at the front of the pack leading the way, which just isn't true. And if we think of ourselves as a collective group of kindling bearers, that reminds us to look out for the ideas happening at our school places that we can join in, support a little bit more. And it also reminds us that our role at our school is to look out for those flames that are growing a little bit dim and to step in where we can. With the campfire metaphor, it's important for us to remember that the morale at our school is a shared responsibility. It's not the job of just one person. So to unpack this campfire metaphor a bit further for you, I'm going to do it with three S's. Surprise, support, scaffold. Surprise. Find an unsuspecting member of your staff who needs praise and give it to them. How many of you out there can remember a moment when a parent, a, fem a fellow member of your faculty, or even a student complimented something that you do well. I'm sure that even if it was years ago, you remember it right now. Support. So many wonderful ideas at our schools could come to fruition if they had more people supporting them. Look out for them. Don't wait for the invitation. Jump in and offer your help and support. Scaffold for moments of storytelling. If you don't know why your partner teacher or why people in your department or your administrator became an educator in the first place, ask them to share their story. It's through collecting those narratives that our school culture is really developed. OK, I know that you had a social last night, but learning too this morning, I'm going to ask you for a little bit of help. Do you think that you can help me? OK, I'm glad to hear it. So what I'd like to do is just try out that very first S, surprise. And hopefully this person is going to forgive me um, when I see her again next week. 
A member of my staff is here who I don't work with frequently. She's on a different campus. Our jobs are very far apart. She works with people who are about this tall, and I work with students who are very frequently taller than me. So if you could help me, Holly Frazier, I'm going to ask you to stand up. A little bit of a surprise. Please give her a round of applause. Thanks, Holly. Um, the reason that I've asked Holly to stand, Holly, you can sit down now, thanks. It's over. You did your job, thank you. Um, the reason that I've asked for Holly to be our surprise person is because she's going to do something pretty daring next year. She's going to completely change the course of her career. Currently, Holly is a phenomenal early years teacher, and I know that she's going to make an even more phenomenal ed tech coach when she makes that change next year. Those of you in the audience who have experience changing the role of your career, you know that you need a lot of support. Those of you who are ed tech coaches, you know that one of your best assets is diversifying your opinion, often with Twitter. We've been talking so much about that at this conference. So I'm going to give you a moment. Please take a picture of this slide. At some point today, using the hashtag HollyLearning2, share some support share a resource, share your thoughts with her. At the very least, please connect with her. I'm going to take a picture of you taking a picture of the slide. And Holly, what I'm going to do is actually mail this photo back to you at some point next year um, and ask you how you're doing, how many people from our amazing Learning 2 family are still supporting you. So please say cheese, Learning 2. Thanks, Paul. So with those S's and with the campfire metaphor, we're reminded to revisualize our work. It's important to do that every once in a while. And if we think of ourselves as creative, collaborative, contributing to something that's collective, we're reminded to look at why schools were designed to be social environments in the very first place. It's always about the people. Learning to language is a technology too, and I'm sure that my language teachers out there in the audience know how important the applications of language when used well, how far they take our students, how well forward they can take us and our schools. So as you head back to your own camp on Monday, I invite you, surprise someone who least suspects that you're going to praise them, Support an initiative that could use your ideas. Don't wait for that invitation. And last but not least, scaffold for storytelling moments. Perhaps you'll even do it while toasting marshmallows. Thank you very much.